After getting back from the Ganges this morning, we had breakfast, checked out of our hotel, boarded our bus to the Varanasi airport. Our destination today is Kajaraho to see the ancient temples. These thousand year old temples represent one of the true wonders of India. Our flight delayed in Varanasi gets us to Kajaraho airport late. Our guide Sandy assures us that we'll still have time and has suggested that we stop briefly at a Hindu temple that apparently is now a museum. Aside from a guy we saw outside with an elephant, the guy unauthorized apparently is trying to solicit rides. Sandy's made it very clear that we should stay away from him. The main attraction here is a large impressive detailed relief map of the subcontinent. The museum attendant has used it to give us an orientation and geography lesson. Like everything in India, this is interesting. But soon Sandy tells us it's time to head back to the bus. Uh oh, one of us has been the road already. And here comes our ever vigilant guide to collect her and prevent any possibility of an elephant related catastrophe. No? So we're off again and ready for the main event of this afternoon the spectacular, mysterious, erotic temples of Kajaraho. Between about 950 and 1150 of the common era, the Hindu Chandela Rajput kings constructed about 85 temples on this then remote site. Today about 22 survive, protected by the Indian government with the help of UNESCO. The entire complex covers about 8 square miles, so Sandy has decided that we should focus on the prominent Western group. In accordance with the Tourist Bureau's requirements, he's turned us over to a local guide. So far as I can, I'm going to try to expand upon and clarify some of the significant points made by the local guide. Let's listen in. God of Preserver means a Vishnu. He has total nine reincarnation. Still this temple be not used, not a living or not an active temple. Because according to Hindu religion, if a statue is broken, it means he lose our power. So be not used. So this all this God and God's statue destroyed by Muhammad Ghazni by Muslim rulers. Kajraho now is a small village. Now they increase the population of Kajraho. Now it's 20,000 people are living in this area. Before was we called Khajura Gaon. Khajura means yeah. dates. That yeah. time we have a lot of dates, palm trees surrounding this area. Because a lot of people that touches every day. So polish by the hand, five tons weight, five ton, one piece of stone. And surrounding that statue, a small, small figure, that is all different god and goddesses. Okay, let's go to see the main temple. Ruled by the Bundela dynasty, different dynasty in different period. They see the three tombs on the top. Look at the biggest one is the Hindu architecture. Next is the Buddhist, and next is the Islam, Muslim. Muslim, Buddhist, and Hindu. Abu Bali is a Prajav temple. This temple be Hindi called Panchaitan style. It is a Hindi word Panchaitana. Panch means five and Aitana means area. So on the that platform there we have total five temples. Each corner we have four small temples and middle is five. Like a five elements, our body is alive by five elements. Air, water, fire, the sky and earth. Highly platform here. Actually what we heard, at one time we have one big lake in Khajuraho. It was the artificial lake in Khajuraho and those is people they come to visit here by boats at one time. So at one time 85 temples just blooming like a lotus flower on the lake at one time. It was the time is thousands year back. Actually the temple was leading like this. So sometimes you see the proportion, look at the scale or measurement is thousands year ago. This is the fourth incarnation called Hirna Kanja, that the name of the demon. He is very much disciple of Ganesh is riding by mouth. Right? So I give an example for the people. Computer is operating by mouth. <laughs> Don't really understand this joke. Maybe you do. Maybe the guy is saying that tiny mouse has not only survived but is more important now than it was a thousand years ago. Our guy is explaining or giving us some theories relating to the construction of the temples and the significance of the carvings. Yeah. 
Apparently, sex is not considered obscene or separate or taboo as it often has been in Western society. Actually, there are virtually no written records, so what isn't obvious is an educated guess or conjecture. Look at the ladies, you get up in the morning time, see the guys in the process of explaining to us that the panels of sandstone relief carving seem to represent the whole range of the life of the society, including sex and eroticism, which as we've seen are graphically represented, particularly on the lower tiers. Why they call legless? When man is a trend, leg is a word. Animals, sacred and otherwise, mythic figures and gods are also found in abundance, also at the lower levels in particular. Higher up, there appears to be an emphasis upon family life, religious, cultural and court life. He's going to take a relax here and she's going to take a relax here. The Look at thousands here I go. Those days they have four of them. So nothing is new under the sun. And look at them in expression. You see the finger like this. Right hand ring finger. That's like the acupressure or acupuncture. Actually he controls the sexual desire no longer. When we go to the Right hand ring. Sam panel on the right corner. That's we call monkey business. See that? That couple is disturbing by monkey. So look at that man is holding his stick one hand, please monkey go away, leave me alone. But look at monkey, he don't want to go, he want to learn something from that couple. So look at he embracing to her, holding his stick, please monkey leave me alone. See the body movement, expression, proportion is beautiful. Left and right, but only one elephant in Khajuraho, which is he's in a smiling mood, laughing elephant. Whereas, <laughs> that side is laughing. Ganyan tree, the roots start from the branches. That's also we call a walking tree. Yeah, yeah. Then I give the free time to you to walk around here. Make a more picture here. Selling, you know? oh, and but this 200 and if anybody need we can call him and he bring in the bus okay. yeah okay. Okay. Okay.